Vertical farming and robotics have created plenty of new opportunities for fresh produce companies across the world. And as labor supply becomes more difficult to find, those technologies are going to become even more crucial. To find out more, we spoke to Mario Schaefer, Chief Sales Officer at indoor farming specialist Organifarm. Mario, thanks for joining us. Uh, now, Organifarms is one of 20 startup companies that will take part in Fruit Logistica's Startup Day on the 10th of February. Um, what will Organifarms present to the world of fresh produce there in Berlin? Well, thank you for the invitation to the interview. Um, we will present our harvesting robot Barry, which automates uh, labor intensive tasks, especially in the strawberry production in greenhouses. So um, our first product is designed to pick strawberries. So it does uh, image recognition software. It does quality control, checking if uh, the berries are ripe to be picked and compare that to the market's current needs and the growers' um, yeah, preferences. And it picks the strawberries and puts them at the stem right into the punnet. So no bruises occur during the process as, and it's ready for the customer. Um, Currently, this is our only product, but we plan to um, diversify in the product range in the future into other crops as well. I see. Now, where in the world is this uh, berry robot being used uh, already? So currently, um, we have done quite a lot of trials and intensive testing in Germany and in the Netherlands. And uh, we will deliver the first units uh, to customers in the Netherlands, Germany and in the UK during the next year. Hmm. And when you run those trials, uh, are we talking about one robot which is, you know, trialed on its own or do you put a series of robots in? So far we tested and did trials with one machine so that we make sure that development speed is high and we can improve quite quickly. Hmm. And uh, during the next year then uh, the first customers will have for the beginning one machine and then it will get more and more into a fleet of robots per customer. Okay, so how much demand, Mario, are you seeing for robot farming systems uh, in, in the fruit business? And what do you think is driving that demand? Well, um, so we see quite a big demand, which is uh, raise, rising every year. So I think in 2018, 90% of German strawberry growers claimed that they had a lack of labor. So uh, there is quite an intensive problem that we are trying to solve. So we plan to fill the gap in the strawberry harvesting labor problem, basically. And uh, yeah, we see that there is quite a good opportunity for us to get into the market and also in other crops next to the fruit business, there is the same problem so we can easily grow. Now, a lot has been said, you mentioned it yourself about uh, the lack of human workers, the lack of labor um, is becoming harder and harder to find. Um, do you think that's going to continue? Is that something that you see as a, uh, a push towards robotic systems in future? Absolutely. So we see that uh, people um, get more happy to work in jobs that don't require to be outside, low on the ground all the time, and um, prefer jobs that are comfortable. So it will not get easier to find pickers for the fruit. Mm. Um, do you see any big changes to uh, the commercial model for berries, for example, for fruit? If, if we head towards more automation, what impact does this have on uh, growers? Um, so we always try to keep the impact on the grower as low as possible. So berries intended to be used in the greenhouse to pick strawberries in the same way that a person would do it. So the grower can tell the robot what to do. It will fulfill the job and um, yeah, stick to the task, basically. So we don't see any change in that field. But what we recognize is that um, the seasonality of strawberries gets reduced every year. So there are more and more varieties on the market that can culti be cultivated during a long period in time, which makes sure that also the peaks that usually lead to an extreme labor demand get lower. And um, there is an, yeah, basically demand in the market for a longer time in the year, which is always good for robotics because, well, this makes them more attractive. <laughs> yeah, uh, because they can be used throughout the year and not just exactly. in a particular period. Yeah, exactly. um, and if we take robotics in the 
kind of wider context of uh, vertical farming, um, those kind of automated production centers have attracted a lot of investment in the last few years. Um, how far do you think this kind of technology can take the fruit and veg business? Well, I think currently we see quite some condensation in that vertical farming business. So uh, some systems will win, some will fail. And uh, yeah, we uh, we generally see this as an opportunity to use robots because they have some more advantages compared to in the, to the use in a greenhouse, especially if you look at hygienic security. Um, but yeah, we are not that sure which system is the best to integrate to, but we are open for opportunities in the future. Absolutely. And just finally, you know, what's next for Organifarms Farms itself? You mentioned berries as the first product you're involved in, but will there be new products around the corner? Will there be new types of robot arm, um, robot uh, machine around the corner? What new avenues will you explore next? Well, so as I mentioned, we start with strawberries. This also has a source in the vertical farming um, topic because we uh, actually started the company with the focus on that topic and then evolved for greenhouses to get into the market in the first place. But um, yeah, we also look into the vegetable industry and see great, great opportunity in tomato and also some other crops which um, have pretty similar infrastructural requirements to the hardware involved. And uh, as we have quite modular software, it's not that big of a problem for us to change the system. Okay, it's not that great a, a leap uh, into those other areas. Mario, thank you very much for taking time to explain what you're doing. And uh, we look forward to seeing you and your colleagues in Berlin for Fruit Logistica and uh, hearing from you uh, on the 10th of February during the startup day. Thanks very much, Mario. Thank you very much as well. Just one of the many companies that will be here in Berlin for Fruit Logistica 2023. That's all we have time for on this episode. But remember, you can go to the Fruit Logistica YouTube channel and subscribe to see all of the episodes of Fruitnet's World of Fresh Ideas. And if you want a daily hit of fresh produce news, just subscribe to our email newsletter at fruitnet.com. We look forward to seeing you all here in Berlin at Fruit Logistica.